I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Father Star, I need you. You want to be torn apart? Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ray, my love. Oh my gosh. Take off your pants. Huh? Hello everybody, I'm Degenerate, and welcome back to Binary ah! Star Hero. So let's continue exactly where we left off. Uh, what is- what? That's a, um... This guy is so annoying. <laughs> He's a little annoying. Okay, I think we have to make a choice here. Well, obviously. I guess we're not doing that, obviously. That middle one is stupid. Where is that even going to take us? Nowhere, exactly. We're going to search more about Binary Star. So, yeah. I can't help but feel uneasy about Binary Star for some reason. <laughs> I decided to continue to search up some additional information about him. Okay. I look, but there's there truly isn't much information to be found. But yeah, he's got a good manager, I guess. I don't know. They keep saying about how much of a clean slate he is. So, yeah. The information that does exist is hard to parse between fact or fiction. While searching, there are a lot of clickbaity titles about his love life or what he does in his time off. <laughs> we know what he does. But I continue to search for real information. Yeah. I finally stumble across a post that sounds different from the others. I click on it. Binary Star, the truth, the hero association doesn't want you to know. On May 15, 6 p.m. User 49824. This is going to sound crazy. I have nothing left to live for. I'm just going to say it. Okay. User nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh. These people. Binary Star is human. Okay. What's the problem? Didn't ask. This blanket imp guy obviously doesn't care i'm not making this shit up okay my dad passed away last week we were cleaning out his office and found some documents from his work they confirmed the binary star was raised in a government lab huh? this whole time they've been training him to be a weapon of war dude go touch grass seriously <laughs> <laughs> it worked too! Remember how the Southern War ended 16 years ago? After going on for over two decades? Mm -hmm. It's because they, pro they dropped in Binary Star. There are testimonies from locals. Okay. Well that is, before they were slaughtered to cover up uh, the massacre of the heroes. At the time, Binary was 16 years old and possibly massacred hundreds. Yikes. That's a big number. We do not care. As news tried to break from the independent from independent journalists about the massacres at hands at the hands of heroes, the NAHA debuted binary star that year to create distractions for the public and it worked. Who is this person? And distracted you from getting some bitches. People are ruthless. Clearly. Oh wow. Okay. After May is June. June 16th, 10 p.m. I looked into some of this of this stuff and it kinda checks out. Bro, after you shit on the person who was talked about it. Is your grand okay. 
I was skeptical at first, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh my gosh. The more I dug, the more I checked it out. Mm-hmm. Look at this image I finally found. Uh-oh. A ninja. An image appears on screen. It is of a blurry blurry ray in military gear. Okay. That's binary star. It does doesn't oh doesn't end missing. It doesn't look completely like him because they always photoshop him in photos. Right. But that is a hundred percent him. There was no reason for an undercover hero to be there. So I, I'm not understanding why I should care. Unless they were cleaning up some loose ends. Some locals are journalists in hiding. Uh oh. <laughs> Dude, now you too? Yeah, Blanket Imp is not here for it. Is there, gra is there a grass shortage or something? Bro. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, okay. You and user49824 can crazy talk together. I'm logging off. Great. Look at you. Nerds. Yikes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You online? Oh, that's like a... Um, like a server or whatever. Um, by the way, I have a Discord server now. <laughs> it's for you guys. Look. <laughs> Guess not. You gonna write that out in the... Oh my gosh. Anyways. July 4th, 7pm. Dude, I think I'm getting paranoid. There's a van that keeps following me. That keeps on following me? <laughs> Grammar is not your strong suit. What does STG mean? I don't know. I'm not making this up. Uh oh. I'm getting freaked out. Uh oh. And you're typing all this into a server? I type a hello in the chat and wait a few minutes, but nobody comes online. This is now? I shut the screen off, alone with my thoughts. It's a common rumor that the Hero Association used heroes to win the Southern War. But it is literally a war crime to do so. And the heroes are only for justice, so the general populace basically wrote it off as a conspiracy theory. I swallow thickly. Blah. After seeing Binary Star casually kill all these all those people in the warehouse. Oh the warehouse. Some part of me can't help but to think it's not a simple theory anymore. <sighs> I put my computer away starting to feel a little sick. After reading all of that, some part of me felt like I knew more, but uh, understood less of binary star than ever before. I start to feel exhausted. Yeah, and drift off into sleep for the 80th time. Ray isn't home and it's already pretty late. Home? This is home now? Look at you. <laughs> I can't help but to wonder if it's because of our discussion earlier. It certainly left off on an awkward note. A bit of sadness stung in my heart. So on one hand, you're like... Oh, he might be dangerous. Oh my gosh. But on the other hand, you're sad that he's not, like, in your house right now. Okay. You gotta pick one. You can't have both. You have to pick one struggle. Yeah. Despite everything, some part of me still trusted Ray. Yeah. I get into bed resting my body against the plush blankets. How many? Dang. My eyes closed, covering me in a familiar, in the familiar darkness of sleep. I dream of a peculiar dream, one where Double, Haley, and myself are all heroes. Look at that! <laughs> we fight to defeat the ultimate villain, Binary Star. Right. I drive a sword through his chest. He erupts into planetary dust, showering glitter all over himself, all over myself. What an interesting dream. I don't feel sad, yet tears swell and pour down my face. The planet heals, it's finally over. The dust- Oh my gosh, it's actually happening. It's on the screen right now. <laughs> That's insane. Oh! Oh my gosh. The dust falls into sparks, and soon the earth catches fire. What the what? 
A wild flame licks my face and my body. I can't breathe. As I dream, the smell of smoke drift, drifts across my senses. I cough a bit, turning over. Is my house on fire? <laughs> my eyes flash open and as a scent of smoke permeates the air. My house is on fucking fire. I immediately sit up. My whole apartment is consumed by flames. I blink. Oh my gosh. How could it have spread so much without me waking up? We were having such a great dream about killing Binary Star. Like, I quickly stumble out of bed. The ground is hot as flames lick the, fire, the far wall. I cough as the smoke starts to get in my lungs. This is a game of the, f the floor is lava to the max. I can't stop coughing. This is bad. I glance around my apartment as it is doused in flames. I cough harder as I kneel over. The smoke is suffocating. I have to do something fast. I'm supposed to stop, drop, and roll. Go for the balcony? Oh my gosh, are we gonna kill ourselves? Well, <laughs> don't really want to do that. Um, good thing it's not timed. I can think about it. Go for the window, the front door. That's never a good idea. Um, go to the balcony. Binary star, help me. Spread towards the balcony. What the fuck? Go back. Oh no! Oh no! What should I say? Should I say binary star, help me? I'm scared. I'm gonna try it. I knew things were going bad fast. I yell out his name with all the force that I can manage. <laughs> Less than a moment later, a gust of fresh air burst past me from my balcony. <laughs> He's fast. <laughs> well, too fast. <laughs> I look up and the shimmering... No, the shining hero stands before me. Oh my gosh. He <laughs> This is a joke. It has to be. There's no way. He reaches out his hands towards me, smiling kindly. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> okay. <laughs> he is radiant even amongst the smoke and flames. This guy is a robot. Look at him. There's no way. I can't. <laughs> okay. I got this, I got this. Despite the destruction around me, I feel no semblance of fear. I'm here to save you. <laughs> Without hesitation, I grab his um <laughs> his hand, pulling myself up. I throw myself in his arms, hugging him with the remainder of the strength in my body. He freezes, surprised by my action. My action. Binary <laughs> Binary Star clears his throat and shifts his gaze to the side in a feeble attempt to hide how red his face is. It's nice to see the hairs down. Because at least... Because... Uh, I really didn't like, like, the outfit. But I think it was because of the hairstyle. So... It might have partly been it. After a few seconds of patting my head awkwardly, he shifts back. He squats lower, settling his forearm under my <laughs> bum. Binary Star easily lifts me up, securing my back with his other hand. He steps out into the balcony, looking at me <laughs> with a coy smile. Hold on tight, <laughs> baby girl. Suddenly, we are flying through the starry sky, his iconic red cape trailing behind. The night air is brisk as he flies past skyscrapers and stars. Soon enough, he settles me down into a high up balcony in the middle of downtown. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what I said before? Never mind. You can see the whole city from here. Yeah, that's kind of the point of why they placed me here. Huh? Oh. Oh, that's like your little post? Interesting. He opens up the doors and beckons me inside oh, wait a minute this is your house 
You live here? My jaw drops. This is your apartment? Condo, but yes. <laughs> he smirks. Glad you like it. This is where you'll be living from now on. <laughs> Just... Yeah. <laughs> Solidify that quick. Look at you. What? Unless you want to go back to your apartment. Which I wouldn't personally recommend in its current state. You're such a... Oh my gosh. She's such a flirt. Stop. <laughs> I know what you did. You think I'm stupid? He walks up to me looking down at me with a serious expression. Plus, here I can keep you safe. I know where you are. Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense. I promise not to impede. I'll be out of here right when I get a new apartment. You don't have to get a new apartment. Why do we gotta get a new apartment? This one's really cool. An indescribable... What? Oh, indecipherable look passes across Ray's expression. And I could almost swear I heard him chuckle. Mm-hmm. He turns away walking into the apartment. Yeah. He's such a comedian. Oh my gosh. Funny guy. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay. He turns around smiling <laughs> his signature radiant smile. Nothing. Come, let me show you around your new home. <laughs> He's so funny. I couldn't help but to... <laughs> I couldn't help but to follow him. He led me <laughs> as if a gravitational pull kept us together. Part of me knew that something didn't feel entirely right. So you better get rid of that part then, because it's really messing up your head. By then, I was already too enthralled by the hero. I know, the way he shined. I couldn't help but to orbit around him. Are you serious? <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. Right? <laughs> That's a joke. Oh my gosh. What even is that? I didn't even see this one. Did I? <laughs> what? Literally the end of it was right there in front of me and I just Okay guys. This is the video. There were other choices I could have made though. So let's start rolling the dice and just going. Probably not the best gesture I did there, but <clears throat> I mean I feel like this is always the same. Our house just fucking combusts. Okay, obviously the balcony leads to where it led, but there was also another option to just sprint towards the balcony. I make my way towards the balcony door. It is the closest to me, so it only takes a few seconds to get to. When I reach out to the doorknob, I can feel the heat even before touching it. Yikes. I turn around yanking the sheet off of the bed and wrap my hand in it. I try to push, but the balcony door doesn't budge. I curse under my breath. Why does it have to be jammed now of all times? I use my full body weight to push against it, but again, no dice. My vision begins to spot as my lungs desperately search for any air they can gain. Purchasing? Am I dying? <laughs> I again press my body weight against the door, but it doesn't even flinch under the, my full pressure. We're dying! My legs collapse, shaking as my vision swirls. I'm dying. I've reached toward the door, crawling on my knees. What? My body heaves and coughs, unable to relieve my lungs of the soot. Oh my gosh. As my vision begins to fade, suddenly a rush of fresh air hits me. I'm disappointed in you? What? Don't be. That actually makes me sad. Stop it. Uh oh. 
Binary star looks down at me radiant as ever. Right? Still complimenting him. Even in these circumstances, he glows. You would really rather die than ask me to save you? Oh my gosh. I just wanted to see what the other choice would do. And I guess this is it. Do you hate me? Are you disgusted by what you found out about me? No, because I really don't... Mm, it could have been a rumor. It's not a rumor. <laughs> it's very much the truth. Do you think I'm a monster too? Who else thought that? I'm unable to answer. All of my words are being swallowed by coughs and desperate greedy gasps for the sudden influx of fresh air. You don't have to say anything. I already know you do. That's so crazy because I don't. Binary star smiles kindly. Am I about to die? And not from the flames? That's insane. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die. His words do not match his expression. Duh. I debated leaving you here, watching the light fade from your eyes, unshackled myself from humanity once and for all. Okay. <laughs> Look at you. But it seems I'm really struggling with that decision. Okay. So... I'll give you a chance to make that decision for me. Oh my gosh. Save. <laughs> Again. Um... Save here? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. He approaches smiling as kind as ever. Can you stop screaming? <laughs> I struggle to my feet to meet the hero eye to eye. I choked out between coughs. To be frank, I'm tired of being a paragon for humanity. Uh-huh. It's clear that now even you don't see me as a hero either. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. You probably don't even see me as a human. That's a lie. <laughs> Not one ounce of affection left in your heart for me. Oh, <laughs> you're... Yeah. yeah. He's crazy. Definitely. And not in the, oh, I'll kill people for you crazy, but, I mean, he is, but he's like, <clears throat> he obviously doesn't know me. He doesn't know the things I've thought about, so, even though he can read minds, I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> and you are right to, you're even right to think so, to do so. And I want to retire, I guess. Go ahead. He pauses and thought. Well, I guess retire may not be the correct word for it. It's okay. He chuckles. What you experienced earlier with the alien attack was just a recon of sorts. Huh? They have many armies waiting for the world to for the word to attack. It will happen in a week or so. They will have ships bodies and weapons beyond our comprehension. Huh? The other heroes will only serve as special fodder for ungodly mechanisms. I could defeat them. It won't be pretty, but I could. He brushes off- What? <laughs> he brushes a hand through his hair. But you see, I'm having a hard time finding the will to fight for humanity to save them. Alright. I, I got something to, to to persuade. I have something that could persuade you to do so. You want to know what it is? And the thing that could make me even remotely want to. He glances downward at me, but the, si the silence falls thick. To be honest, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> lies me up. I I just rather watch it all burn. Let the aliens do the hard work, and then I'll play cleanup crew. Okay. But you're a hero? That's cruel. More choices! <laughs> um... Let's... Damn! It's, a, it's, it's merely just a matter of what I want to see first. That's basically it. 
Let's do this one first. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. That's actually funny. Binary Star looks at me in a genuine surprise and laughs. If you weren't so cute, I'd feel bad for you. <laughs> Thank you. This is me. I know. And I'm- <laughs> don't care. <laughs> for so long I imagined and marveled over the- what words I could be from. Oh, worlds. I said words. A child from the stars, they called me. Imagine my disappointment that all along the star that birthed me was this planet, Earth. Okay. To a mother that would rather sell me off as a government project than miss a hit of fentanyl? What? Isn't that a drug? No wonder she fucking died. Earth was my star. A sullied, faded star. Infected. He levels a look at me. His eyes look in- <laughs> Oh my gosh, his eyes look like eternity. When I'm the only being sitting upon this rotten star. Amongst the trees, winds, and silent northern lights. Then maybe I can finally exhale. He smiles peacefully. Some part of me thought you could save me. I can give you CPR. <laughs> if y'all know the reference, then you're better than others. <laughs> He chuckles in a self-deprecating way. I realize I was wrong to even place that expectation on you. I'm sorry about that. The binary star hero shields sheds his mask. He is Ray. Despite it all, they're one and the same. He reaches his hand out towards me. Ray is shining brighter than ever, lighting up the whole room with his divine glow. Some stars are created by being ripped apart by black holes. Do you want to be torn apart? Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> Shredded piece by piece to be born whole. More bright and beautiful than ever before. Some part of me felt it wasn't necessarily a question he was posing. Move away from Ray? Wait. <laughs> Let's keep this 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 entertainment train going. Yeah. I take Ray's hand, my heart thumps out of my chest. He smiles beautifully, full of cat cat What? Oh, cathartic hurt. I understand in that moment that I am the bone that needs to be broken in order to be set in place and heal properly. The day I met you was the day was the first day I learned something new about myself. I learned that I could love, that I could hope to be human. Are you not? You just said you were. Ray holds me close. His hand strokes my cheek. Oh. <laughs> there has to be space there. <laughs> Thank you for letting me dream. I thought I could change. That I could be something other than human or monster. But in the end... Shiki shiki shiki. What's happening? But in the end, I have a... Quasar that shines around me like a halo. It pulls matter from everything else around it into a single well, <laughs> volatile ring. That ring will shred and swallow its <laughs> and swallow until it's had its fill. Until nothing else can be cannibalized. It will rage on and on until it fades away from existence completely. He brushes some soot off of my forehead. He pauses, looking upon my face. A moment of hesitation clouds his features. Why is that the last option? There should be something else. I feel like. <laughs> I hope you find what you're looking for. Ray looks upon my face with an indecipherable smile and sigh. There's a sadness that lurks in his dark eyes. He brushes a tear away from my cheek. 
don't cry. I'm gonna anyways. I will keep you with me forever. Ray takes my face into his hands. In a moment that both felt shorter than a second and longer than an eternity. Ray presses his face to mine. His lips <laughs> his lips passionately gain purchase amongst my own. Sparkles! <laughs> I push back desperately trying to convey what words cannot. At that moment, I felt the sun. Everything radiates. My heart beats. My skin hums. I feel metamorphosis. Uh-oh. I look at Ray. He shines. What? What is happening? <laughs> Am I on an acid trip? Part of me fade. Being pulled apart, shredded into dust by the star before me. I'm dying? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm dying. Ray holds me in his arms. He kisses me desperately between sweet murmured words. I can taste the wet salt that runs down his cheeks and falls between our lips. He holds me tighter, wrapped in my own cocoon. I can no longer talk. I can no longer see. Soon my mind is no longer my own. I shine with ray, brilliant spread amongst matter and being. I fade. <laughs> I am reborn. As... <laughs> nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. What was that? <laughs> like, this moves a lot more now. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm kind of confused. Just, just a smidge. You know what I would love? An explanation. <laughs> We're gonna try this again, and then do the bad part or whatever. Yeah. Humanity is cruel. <laughs> and despite it all. Despite the glamour, the advertisements, the campaigns, I am human. He looks at my sacred, doubtful form. Oh, sacred? What the hell? Scared. I know to you, to some, I probably look like a monster. And believe me when I say, I desperately tried to shelter you from that. To everyone else, I look like a savior. Hmm. But frankly, I'm tired of wrestling with strangers' views and expectations of myself, my identity. I can't stop. I am inexorable, if that if that's how I say that. Only when I see the earth shatter under my force will I be forced to mourn the loss. Only as the planet scatters and drifts as a trillion glowing particles will I have to reckon with the conclusion of if I am human or monster. Some part of me- oh! Oh, it's the same! It's the same. He chuckles in a self-deprecating way. I realize I was wrong to even place the expectation on you. I am sorry for that. Oh my gosh. It's the same. Holy crap. What if- okay then. If that's the case, why don't I move away from you? See what that does. I take a step back. Fear takes hold as tears cloud my vision. Ray, please don't. What? Does he basically just go supernova or something? Ray looks hurt. After all this, you will still run from me? I'm just exploring other options in the game. So that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Binary's face. Oh my gosh. Binary stars face falls. The glow snuffs out like a candle, flames fading into fading to nothing in an instant. I am surrounded by darkness and I'm terrified. My flight instincts trigger and I sprint towards the door. I reach for the door desperate. It's gonna be hot. I crash full force into something soft. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Really D? I thought you knew better than than that by now. Running from- running from someone like me? Bad. His arm- his arm traps me into the corner. I can feel his hot breath dusting my cheek. 
what is going through that little head of yours to think that was smart? I guess you have to do things the hard way then. Scary. And then... <laughs> And the dark and vicious red globe <laughs> begins to shine. <laughs> My enemy star smiles. He smiles the same way I've seen a thousand times among every billboard, poster, magazine. Goodbye. Bye. A flash of red. A surge of pain. Everything goes black. <laughs> of course. And then nothing, of course, times two. Due to his word, Biter is there carried forth with his plan. Within a week, an awful war broke out due to an alien invasion. Within a month, all humanity ceased to exist. Damn, a month? Within three months, all living creatures were torn asunder. Bodies strewn amongst trees, stones, grass, as if, it, as if they were innate to the terrain. Oh my gosh. Within a year, Binary Star had grown tired, lonely. He roamed and mourned, still unable to answer the question that pressed him, pressed in him, de demanding a conclusion. With the last exhale, Binary Star fulfilled the final purpose he was created for. With the first gift he was ever given, he shined so bright all of nature was forced to bow before him. And so, for the first time, amongst the defend. <laughs> The deafening silence of galaxy dust, very finally existed, completely alone. Oh my gosh. What the f- <laughs> Bro, what the f*** is favor? Oh wait, I know what that is. I'm a stupid idiot. What the hell? These endings are not cute. <laughs> Let's go back here and- Let's see what happens if we call Haley, I guess, because I really don't want to call Bubble. I decided to give Haley a call. They warned me before the Binary Star most likely had some skeletons in, in the closet. Maybe they know more, or maybe they don't. But either way, Hal's comfor comforting voice is something that I need to hear right now. The dial tone rings softly. Hello? D? Hi, Hal. Or hail. I don't know. I still don't know. D, are you okay? I'm, I tried texting you, but you never responded. I'm getting worried. You kind of dropped off the face of the planet there for a minute. I should, right? To avoid all those endings? <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? You don't sound okay. I bite my lip. Everything in me wants to run, crying to hail. But I can't be selfish. Hail essentially just lost their whole business with the chaos in the Westeros- in the Westeros- in the West District. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is heft more stress onto them. <sighs> yeah, I guess I just missed you is all. I can hear Hal suck in air suddenly. Uh, Hale? Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, me too. Uh, are you okay? I hear a familiar voice in the background. Hey, is that what's his face? Ah, oh, I forgot his name. Let me say hi. Wait, your face is so red. That's so funny. Stone cold hell down bad. Oof. Ah? A large smack sound reverberates over the speaker. Miles, that's his name. Groans in the background. So, did you call for anything specific? Not really. Remember how you mentioned that. You think all heroes have skeletons in their closets? The more powerful the hero, the more packed that closet's gonna be. Why do you think that? If you have unlimited power, who will stop you? The government would do anything to protect their assets, after all. What do you think about Binary Star? Once again, there is silence on the other end of the call. Please, listen to me closely. Run away from Binary Star. I did some asking, some digging, and nothing good can come from being around him. Uh, you told me too late. I died like two times. <laughs> he will only cause you misery and chaos. You will never know peace again if you accept him. 
<laughs> the best thing you could do is run as far and fast as you can. There's another pause on the other line. I have to go. Just please tell me you will leave tonight and run very, very far away. I was unable to answer, unsure what to do. Haley's tone left no question of severity of their request. I'll find you again when you are in a safe place. The phone call cuts off suddenly. Haley probably hung up. Duh. I start to feel exhausted. Ray isn't home and it's already pretty late. Does our house catch on fire either way? It does. It does. Oh my gosh. Complete quaser ending? What does that even mean? Ray ending? Huh? Double in a while? Huh? Huh? Oh my gosh. I'm a completionist. Oh. Dang it. Wait! We haven't called double. <laughs> His face appears in my mind. I hate him with a burning passion, but I can't ignore that he's my best bet for information at the moment. I unblock his number and then press the dial button. The phone rings and rings, but ultimately Double does not answer. I sigh and stretch out. Suddenly my phone is vibrating. I pick up the call. And what do I owe the pleasure? His voice is as smug as usual. I can practically see the mocking grin across his face double don't act so cold you're the one that called me well you're the one that tried to cut my fucking fingers off i still might if you keep pushing i ignore him determined to st sticking to my goal at hand i have a question that right yeah i remember back when it, we worked together you had some run-ins with binary star right double I'll answer your question if you answer mine first. Okay. What color underwear are you wearing right now? Oh, brother! Now I don't want to answer. <laughs> like, I don't want to... Double laughs. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I should have known he was just going to mess with me. I'm not answering that. So let me get this right. His voice becomes dangerously low. I can't do that. <laughs> you call me to get some info on another guy and assume I'm just going to play nice? Double lets out a harsh laugh. You are truly more of an idiot than I could have imagined. I resist the urge to throw my phone across the room. The line is silent. Guess I should hang up then. Oh my god, that last one is so funny. Okay, save. Here. <laughs> I like that save. Um, what? <laughs> what? Let's do that one. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Double honestly scares the shit off me. But I'll be damned if I sit here and let him intim uh, intimidate me. I decide to throw him off of his balance. And what makes you think I'm even wearing any? <laughs> Double is at a loss for words. Speechless, Double? I remember the last time I left you speechless. <laughs> oh my gosh. He mumbles under his breath. <laughs> some part of me liked that I still had some hold over him. Unfortunately for me, he's always quick to recover. I don't believe you. Mm hmm. What? I said I don't believe you. I can hear the smirk in his tone. <sighs> Me thinking it was funny? Uh, send me a picture. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm not doing that. Oh, bark and no bite. Per usual. I guess you don't need me to answer your question then. I, but I... Don't? Don't. I immediately get up stripping off my top and pants. I'll show you some bite, bastard. After posing for a flawless ass- Oh my gosh. A flawless ass shot paired with a tasteful middle finger. <laughs> I said over the photo! <laughs> Very nice. Almost exactly like I remember. You're 
fucking bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's. <laughs> Stop. Let's move on. <laughs> Double? <laughs> so, what did you want to know again? Oh my gosh. Alright, oh, binary star. Holy. But, <laughs> oh my gosh. What an interesting conversation this was. <sighs> Double gives a short, spiteful laugh. You were so lucky you were my partner. You have no idea what I sheltered you from. You still don't. <laughs> the others would come back completely traumatized from seeing their friends being ripped apart by the heroes while you knew none the better. None of the heroes ever give a shit about any of us. And that guy, he was the worst of all. There was nothing human about those red eyes. No empathy, no guilt, just destruction without mercy. In our world, they say if you see a red flash, you're already dead. The iconic red eyes of national hero binary star being plastered on every TV show, every magazine, has to be some kind of honorary. Ironary. Irony. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to hear about your new boyfriend? The child from the stars? I wouldn't say he's my boyfriend. <laughs> Is he really that bad? Double is quiet. I liked you, D. You were always a feisty little shit. <laughs> Stop. Stop flirting with me. The others told me I was too soft on you. Too sweet on you. <laughs> Not flirting. <laughs> Something foreign to its doubles tone. An uncharacteristic hint of emotion breaking through. You should think hard and make a decision. Do you want to live at the whims of a cruel, unforgiving creature? Or would you rather die? I think I'd rather die. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Your window to make a decision is closing. Soon it will be made for you. Even if you cry and beg, I can't come save you this time. Pioneer Star is so far removed from humanity, he might as well be from the stars. He is a creature without weakness. Well, I guess now he has one. And God knows he's gonna keep that bitch in a short leash. No way that's me. <laughs> Goff. Double just laughs. Good luck. You kinda need it. I'm gonna ignore that little thing. <laughs> that little word there. I'll keep your nice little picture as a parting gift. After that phone... After that, the phone goes silent. Did Double really just hang up on me? Still, a scumbag after all this time. I try to push his words out of my head. Do you want to live at the whims of a cruel, unforgiving creature? Fine. No. We sure they can't be that bad. He has been nothing but kind to me. Double has told me cruel lies in the past. He's definitely just trying to psych me out. And then the fire. Hello everybody, I'm assuming that you thought the video was over. <laughs> well, it's not. I'm actually going to show you how to get everybody else's endings. You literally have to start from the beginning of the game. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start a whole new game. What we're going to do now is we're going to get Haley's ending first. And I think we should save Ray for last, so. This is the choice I made the first time, I believe. Or, I don't even know. I forgot. <laughs> but this is the choice right here. So. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. I got distracted. This is going zoomy fast. Okay. We did this one already. So. And that is exactly the choice you're supposed to make there. Um, We're going to do that because we're not focusing on Ray right now. 
The next choice we are to make is... I can't do that double. So, yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm trying to cater to Haley right now. I'm so sorry, Ray. You know I love you. Okay, so we just skipped the whole offering him to come inside. Uh, come in- uh, damn. I'm gonna just not say it. After hanging up, Ray turns to me. It looks like I gotta clock in some, uh, some overtime. Sorry to hear that. I hope you don't have to work too hard. I don't know, it might work so late that I'll just have to pick up some of my favorite coffee tomorrow morning. You're such a fooler. I don't work tomorrow. Ray takes, a te <laughs> takes on a teasing tone. Wow, assuming I only come to Cafe Waning Crescent for you? Stop it! You- I'm trying to do something! Come on! Pretty bold of you. I've tasted our black coffee, Ray. <laughs> Calling it good is an awful stretch of the imagination. He laughs genuinely. Okay, fair enough. An attractive barista is a nice bonus to a pretty average black coffee. Stop, Ray! Stop. Ray looks toward the large black plumage <laughs> staining the sky. I should probably get going though. Thanks for thanks for your help, Ray. Anytime for my favorite barista. Stop, Ray. <laughs> He's like, uh, he walks off giving a short wave goodbye. He's such a flirt. Ugh, this asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Blaze. I'm not interested. This is the choice you would have to make. What about him is the next choice you're supposed to make. Guys, I really fucking love Ray. You can't, you can't see my webcam, but I'm so serious. I have like the most serious face on my on my face right now. I fucking love Ray, and it's a shame that we weren't able to like do nasty things together. It really is. Anyways, that was just my two cents. I'm gonna move on. Okay. Ray, my love. Oh my gosh. Take off your pants. Huh? Shit, I'm so sorry. It's like a- it's like a, a reflex. He's so fucking hot, bro. Like, this is the only time I can really let myself go. When I- when the camera isn't on, for some reason. It's like, I know people are looking at me, so I usually hold back my words, but I would literally gargle this man's- It's insane what I would do. I'm gonna censor most of what the, what's being said right now, but that's literally- that's literally it. I'm gonna just tell them to have a good day at work because I can't romance him right now, which is what I want to do, but uh, I wave goodbye to Ray as he walks out the door. Oh my gosh, I would literally suck him dry like a vampire. Anyways, the next thing I'm supposed to say is definitely some skeletons. Hello, Pookie. <laughs> I kind of liked him a little at the end when you call him. I, I bet you guys noticed my me grinning uncontrollably. Uh, but yeah, as you all may have realized, I like being degraded. <laughs> I like being told that I'm a piece of shit. It's a mental disorder. Please do not crucify me. Anyways, let's continue. My next line is supposed to be, why are you doing this? Alright, the next thing we're supposed to do is nod, which is what we did before, so we can easily skip. Um, we- this one. Cause we didn't want to like, we were being really nice to Ray before, so we have to pick this one. I was scared for you, angry, and I kinda lost it. Totally lost it. Yeah, totally lost it. Now take off your pants because I have to show you something. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't wanna know where I'm sorry. So yeah, you can pick whatever one whatever one you want here. After picking the either the phone or the notebook, you decide you to get a Haley ending, you have to ask what his abilities because we asked about the photo. You do what I did in the first video and just don't care about how he got his abilities. So, and then the last thing you would have to do is call Haley, but it's not really the last thing. It's more like the second to last thing. Next thing you have to do is go for the window, and you get the Haley ending. 
I look around, the front door is too far away, and the balcony may be too heavy for me to open. This is the same thing I read before. Yeah, I think my strength I pushed- before, When we did this, we died. <laughs> Last time. I gather my strength, I push the window sill upwards. The, mom the momentum of the push causes me to fall backwards into the hard floor. I curse to myself, frustration growing. Trip, trip, squeak, squeak. What? Huh? I look up and see a bat in the window. My heart drops. I need to shoot away from the fire immediately. Bro, I try to leap, but I slip back into the hard ground. Chirp, chirp, squeak, squeak. <laughs> the bat begins to morph, to change shape. Am I hallucinating? I rub my eyes, but the morphing of the bat continues. The bat begins to take a more human shape, first shedding into skin, wings into arms. Am, am I dead? Uh oh, no, but if we don't get out of here, you might be very, so very well be soon. The bat has transformed into a familiar figure. They sit across the window frame, cool and composed despite the chaos surrounding us. The green hair sways in the wind. Despite the bat ears, a very familiar sparkle in their eyes makes it impossible not to recognize them. Hale? Haley smiles. They sport a cat suit and a mask. A suit like that isn't cheap. It looks even custom made. And was Haley just a bat? D, are you okay? Why are you, why are you, what are you it's it's dangerous. You have to My brain malfunctions and Haley laughs. I think the smoke is getting to your head. Let me get you out of here, and then I promise I'll explain everything. Haley hops through the window. They make their way over to the balcony door. Cover your face. I do as I'm told and in one smooth kick, Haley shatters the glass. God, you're so cool. Okay, now I know your brain has lost too much oxygen. <laughs> Haley plucks me off of the ground and stands me on my feet. Haley begins to morph again. A tiger! <laughs> Soon a large Siberian is in my apartment. My face pales. Get on my back. The tiger takes, talks in Haley's voice. I'm going to get you out of here. Tiger is Haley. I approach it cautiously. Oh my god, hurry up! <laughs> the tiger <laughs> Haley scoops me up with their head on their back. They walk into the onto the balcony and back up to the very edge. Hang on as tight as you can, okay? I wrap my arms around Haley and shut my eyes, putting my full faith into Hale. Haley takes off into a sprint. Soon the air hits my face and we land again. I look up and see that we are on the on the neighbor's balcony. One more time, hang on, okay? There's another sprint and then a leap. A loud metal sound resonates as we land onto the fire escape. Billy does it, doesn't stop moving. They continue to sprint down the stairs, never breaking stride. When they hit the soil, their goal their gait only speeds up. I look up and even the night sky is a blur. Keep holding on until I tell you to stop, okay? I can hear Haley huff below me. I can't help but to think how soft their fur feels under my face. After some time, Haley finally slows to a stop pacing, so stop placing me onto the ground. Oh my god, what are you doing? I told you to keep the car running. Haley roars ferociously in a, at a certain Miles who is standing outside beside the car. And just like that, I started living a new life with Miles and Haley in a new city. Apparently, Haley has been living a double life as an infamous villain this whole time. Bro. <laughs> well, villain isn't necessarily the correct term. Cat burglar is probably more appropriate. When I used to be a villain, Haley's alias was plastered all over magazines. Shrouded villain Chimera strikes again. But Haley never hurt anyone, always worked alone. The only reason they were able they were labeled a villain was due to the fact that they were taking from the rich and powerful. And were they damn good at it? So good in fact that Miles' dad hunted Haley down and offered an incredible am amount of money for Haley to take on Miles as their villain apprentice. Oh, and did I mention that's why Miles has so much money. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I 
did and did i mention that apparently miles comes from a yeah a long infamous line of villainy heritage Brad, his dad brothers uncles aunts mothers grandmothers grandfathers great grandfathers and so on are some of the most well-known villains of all time miles of course would rather be a hero but good luck to anyone who tries to convince his father of that so now miles hilly and i roll together sharing a small apartment we sleep in the day and lurk in the night we take what is ours we funnel the money into the offshore accounts preparing to flee whenever he finds us uh oh are they talking about binary star because according to Haley, it's not a matter of how it's a matter it's a matter of when having Haley at my side i feel like i can take on anything i would take on anything that the at the chance for a future where i can keep smiling and laughing with them with Haley at my side things are happier peaceful even i found my stride again I didn't know how much I needed them. They look at me, a familiar smile adorns their beautiful face. Falling asleep by Hale's side is a piece of heaven that I'm willing to fight for, to preserve. Be it heroes or villains. Come what may, I'm ready. Oh wow. That was Haley's ending, look at that. So that's basically how you get Haley's ending. Next, we're gonna do everyone's favorite person. Double! Or, wait, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. You have to do the choice I literally did the first time. And then you go for the front door. I crawled towards the front door. It's open, I can escape. I think whatever gods may have been watching over me. Crawling out to the hallway, I was able to get some more fresh air. With adrenaline kick kicked in, I was up on my feet and running in no time. I sprint down the stairs and out the front door. My lungs burned as if they were caught as if they caught fire as well. Making my way to the street, I can't help but find the silence odd. A fire this big and there were no emergency vehicles. I needed to find someone to call for help before the fire spreads, putting anyone else in danger. As I reached the alleyway to the main street, the adrenaline was wearing off and my legs shook threatening to give out. I leaned up against the wall gasping for air. I could only hear the sound of my blood rushing and my heart pounding wildly. Suddenly a hand covered my face and I felt a feeling that was all too familiar. My body felt the rush through time and space before collapsing into reality again. I look up already knowing who I would find when the hand was moved from my face. Uh oh, what's wrong with the nasty look? I glance around trying to figure out where exactly Double landed us. Uh oh. Don't worry, I didn't phase you too far. It's far enough away that we don't have to worry about any interruptions. Don't touch me, get away from me! <laughs> Look at this emo- <laughs> I back up stumbling and catching myself over some garbage. When Binary Stars finds you, he's going to do what exactly? Bring me to justice? Double cackles. It is it is cold and humorless. You're a brain, honey. You should be thanking me. Thank you. You are the kick at you first. <sighs> Who knows what he would have done. I continue to catch my breath, glaring up at him. Binary Star, who would have saved me? He tilts his head, Double's eyes crinkle. Are you sure about that? Okay, John Cena. You really can't be this ignorant. He told you, didn't he, about his abilities? Or rather, ability? I look at Double, my silence speak volumes. Then think, use your fucking brain. Before you went to sleep, did you leave anything plugged in? When you woke up to your apartment already covered in flames, did you smell any gas? Any gasoline? My eyes widen at what Double is insinuating. How were you able to sleep through your apartment catching on fire? There's... there's no way. 
You must have- you must have done this. Double cackles loudly. Do you hear yourself? Think. Who bothered you at the cafe? No. Yes. Binary star took out the trash. And if you didn't come collect- if I, And if I didn't come collect you, guess who would have been next? No, that doesn't make sense. Why would he want to kill me? Who knows what that psycho was thinking. I really shouldn't have saved you. But the thought of someone else, anyone else, torturing you alive didn't really sit right with me. So let's go back to old times, new city, new us. Don't worry. I may not be a hero, but I'll keep you reasonably safe and sound. Double laughs as if it is the funniest thing in the world. My face pales. Oh my gosh. True to Double's word, we started a new life in the new city. Although it was a new life, it felt reminiscent of old times. This time Double wasn't keeping any secrets. I witnessed everything, for better or for worse. I would see Binary Star's face on the screen, on magazines, on big advertisements, peering down at me as if I were an ant. I could almost see the madness swimming behind the wide, iconic smile. I look over at Double. He cuts a piece of flesh off of a hero's arm. The hero screams, peering at me with pleading eyes. Double looks back at me, smiling wide, blood splattered face. It was trading one madness for another worth it? It was a question that swam in the depths of my chest. That, oh my gosh, that crawled up my throat like bile every time Double smiled at me. I was too afraid to answer. Double approaches me, wiping the blood off of his hands without a, with a towel. He smiles. He tells me, let's get out of here, the others will take care of the rest. I glance at the screaming man, more flesh being extracted. I glance back at Double, foolishly asking, is he going to be okay? A fake smile stretches across Double's face, his jaw tightens. I can tell he is upset. A paper thin smile, Double asks, why, do you care what happens to him? To a hero? I grab Double's hand, responding, no I don't, let's go. Double smiles, leaning down, he places his lips on my forehead. I can feel the blood smear where he kisses our liturgical? I don't know what that says. Smearing of ashes. We are the same, yet so different. Double doesn't hide anything from me anymore. He expects the same in return. As we walk amongst the city streets, I don't dare look up, look upon the oppressive stare of Binary Star. He glares down at me, accusing accusations behind his wide smile. I refuse to look even as the red eyes dissolve into the night. After all, in Double and I's world, there was only room for us and only us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was crazy, bro. Double the trouble. <laughs> Comedic. is on fire so we obviously go for the balcony because that's literally like a raised thing well instead of saying binary star help me because that's the binary star ending you get you supposed to pick sprint towards the balcony and then it doesn't matter what you pick after this because it leads to the same thing so yeah we are going to Take Ray's hand, of course. I look up at Ray. Okay. And then there's the Ray Caesar ending and the Ray, the regular Ray ending. Ray Caesar, Ray ending. Pretty smart for me to see right here. Hope you find what you're looking for, and then save me, Ray. I'm pretty sure this is the one I did before. Ray, I hope you find what you're looking for. Ray looks upon my face with an indecipherable smile and sigh. There's a sadness that lurks in his dark eyes. So we're gonna do the, the Sacer ending or whatever? I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry. He brushes a tear away from my cheek. Don't cry. I will keep you with me forever. Ray takes my face into his hands. In a moment that both felt 
shorter than a thought and longer than an eternity. Yep. His lips passionately gain purchase amongst my own. I push back desperately trying to convey what words cannot. At that moment I felt the sun, everything radiates, my heart beats, my skin hums. Basically this is the same. Yeah. So yeah, that was into the whatever that is, Quasar. Um, I don't know what the difference is then. So yeah, let's go back to our save and get to the Ray ending. I gave Ray a bold look. Save me, Ray. You told me to call out to you for help. Now I am. I don't want Binary Star to save me. I want him. I don't want him. I want you. I'm asking you, Ray. I want you to stay with me. I don't want oblivion. I don't want silence. I don't want a greater purpose. I want you. I want to be with you. Human or monster, it doesn't matter. I don't care. You will never trust me. I can't help but to laugh. Even in these circumstances, Ray, after everything, do you really expect me to be able to trust you? You hardly have ever given me a reason to trust you. But I can tell that you care for me, and all I know is some part of me does love you, and I don't want to want to throw that away because of some uncertainty. I want to try and learn to trust you, the real you. Ray looks at me like he doesn't quite know what to say. I want to go on normal dates with you. I want to get in fights, cry, apologize, laugh, have awkward misunderstandings. I want to surmount differences together. All this time, you have been what people wanted you to be. But the truth is, I don't want you to be anyone. I want to grow into someone with you. Even if I am not the hero binary star you want, I fell for Ray in the coffee shop, not the edited hero in the magazine. Which is true, by the way. <laughs> and I'm not ready to give, up, give that up yet. So please, give us a chance to figure this out together. Please hold a bit, hold on a bit longer. Defend this planet a little, a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Defend this planet a bit longer. Please don't give up on this, on us. I entangle our fingers together. Ray is silent as he watches me. He shoulder, his shoulders slump into a tired posture. He gives a deep exhale of air. I promise I will make you the best black coffee. Ray's eyes crinkle. That is an offer I can't turn down. This is a money-back guarantee, right? <laughs> he squeezes my hand lightly. <laughs> I crack a smile even under these circumstances. Always. In an instant, Ray places a sweet kiss on my lips. He lifts me up easily in his arms. Ray? Oh my god. <laughs> I gasp in shock. What? He looks down at me with a coy smirk. I'm really craving some exclusive... <laughs> exclusive these black coffee right now. Aren't you? His face is so close to mine I can't help but to look away. He chuckles. Wrap your arms around my neck and hold it on tight. I do as I'm told and in an instant we are in the air flying. The night sky is beautiful but the cold air makes me shiver. Ray holds me a bit tighter, draping his iconic cape over my back. Ray is still an enigma to me. Some part of me thinks I will never quite understand him. But for the first time, we have some semblance of understanding between us. And it makes me want to learn more about who Ray is. I want to discover the bad, the good, and the deep, dark shadows that are cast from his luminosity. I close my eyes, squeezing Ray tight, hoping, praying to anyone for a future that is kind. Oh my gosh. Bro. What do you mean, complete all of Binary Star? What the heck? Yay! I guess that that means the after stories, I'm guessing. I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, that was Binary Star Hero. That was actually Binary Star Hero. I don't know, I said before I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it anyway. 
<laughs> I thought you guys deserved the rest of the endings. I didn't want to be stingy and keep it all to myself. But yeah, that was amazing. I love this game so much. I love Ray. Like, it's it's an un unexplainable feeling. Like, I'm in love with him. <laughs> I would do anything for him, to him, with him. It doesn't matter. Those are my final thoughts on Ray. I would give him the Gogog 9000. <laughs> um, Double is... Mm, he's like, if I didn't have Ray, I'd probably pick him. Haley's ending was pretty cool too. I actually liked it. It's a nice little thing we have going on. Like a whole anti-villain thing. It was it was nice. It was very cute. But I definitely wouldn't pick it because I would like something more exciting than that. <laughs> it's exciting, but it's like I need more because I'm greedy. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, um I'm pretty sure or well, you know what? The the pre-recording me or pre this recording me is going to tell you. So um, but yeah, that was, that was Binary Star. It was quite the interesting game. Um, I was expecting some sort of like spicy scene, but I guess not. <laughs> A girl can dream. A girl can dream. If you guys enjoyed this, give it, give, give, give it a like, you know? Cause it's like, why not? Do it for Ray, not binary star Ray. Yeah, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this and others. Cause I promise that all the time. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.